Good morning. Happy Switch Up Saturday. Hopefully you are having a good weekend so far. Whenever or you are watching this, if you are having a weekend, it could be Tuesday afternoon. I don't know, but I hope you're having a good time, whichever time of day, week, what have you, you are seeing this. So, um, trying to be positive this week, but I will be blunt. I'm, I'm not having a good, um, a good week. Um, thankfully we all, it only, it was only a four day week, but uh, we had, a, we, we had a doozy at work. Um, we're losing some folks and, um, teams kind of in shambles. So that's making, um, life a little not good. Let's just, Let's just say it bluntly. So that's going to be a challenge for a while and doesn't help that I'm already under a lot of stress. So it's been, been fun. Um, so yeah, it's been a, it's been a week, but anyhow, I'm trying to focus on things that don't cause me stress and don't cause me, um, to be sad or, or what have you, which is usually this part of my, my week, thinking about what I want to, um, use for my fragrances, go through my handbags, play with the pugs, all the kind of little things here and there. So anyhow, um, hopefully y'all are having a better time of it than, than I am, but let's, let's dive in. So I've got my cup of coffee in my beautiful Starbucks cup that matches my nails. Um, as I segue, so the nails, um, did not do well this week, unfortunately. Um, I had a lot of casualties as far as the link that goes. And then I have a, a lovely crack right there. So that's really fun. Um, so it's catching on everything. It's making my life a little bit, um, even more chaotic. So, um, I gotta figure out how to deal with that and what's going to make the most sense to keep some layers on it, try to keep it insulated from breaking any further. But yeah, the wear and tear on this one, not good. Um, this is really like one of those, you know, night out polishes where it's like meant to, wear for a special occasion and you're going to get maybe two days wear out of it for me. Um, and I used it's custom base that you're supposed to use with it. Did the application that's re recommended and did a top coat for it. And I still had, um, the issues. So I don't think it's the, the brand. Um, a lot of people love this brand and like the products. I apparently my nails don't take polish well. And, um, it, it, it's just, it, I'm two to three days is what I can usually get out of a, a good manicure. Um, when I wore acrylics, I would get, you know, two weeks, obviously, because it's not my natural nail. Um, and I, even gels, it's like, I would skit chips and stuff. I think I, there's something about my nails that like repel, things things like to fall off and chip off really easily or maybe just because I'm very rough with my nails I type a lot um I don't wear gloves I you know I'm cleaner up around the house but after dogs or opening up things and I'm just not a very um demure <laughs> girl so I will go in there and dig so I'm this is very much me. So don't, don't take it on the brand whatsoever. It's totally me, but anyhow, I'm going to get over there onto the things that we, that make us happy, that make us want to enjoy, um, you know, being around, go through the bags. I think I have an idea of what I want to use this week. Um, there's a trend going for the month about it being satchel September. So I'm thinking I want to grab a satchel bag and I may grab one in particular. So we'll talk about that when we get over to that side of the room. Um, if that's the one that I end up grabbing and yeah, we will move on. I do want to talk about this though, before I move on 
um, I did end up getting a chance to try this. So this finery, um, not another cherry. And it is very much a very good dupe of, of Lost Cherry. Um, I don't know why it, it's made in Mexico. Well, wow. Okay. Hi. Um, when I, I don't know why it smells a little bit more floral than I, oh, the rose. So the rose is more prominent in this than the amaretto and cherry. So like Lost Cherry, Sinful from Okcha, um, I'm trying to remember the other dupe I have. I have one more dupe and I can't remember the, the brand. Um, they all, the, the amaretto is what's usually really prevalent in the dupes. And um, this one, the rose is very prevalent and that's interesting. It's not bad. It's just interesting. So um, it was a little bit overpowering the day I put it on. I had a headache um, with it and it just might have just been my day because I was having a I was having a day, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, so I'll give it a, another go, but it's not bad. So if you want to try out this um, line from Target, I, I'm i intrigued to find the other. I think they have a Baccarat Rouge dupe. I'm trying to remember the other ones there also. I think they do Delina as well. And there's one other like really high-end one. So I'm intrigued too. Um try out several of them and compare them to the because I have like small samples of them but I did order um from alt that um brand um the electric cherry and um cherry smoke dupes Tom Ford dupes and those I'm waiting to have them come in from wherever they come from from that company so I just ordered them hopefully they'll come in soon and then I wanted to go into the Nordstrom up north and um, actually get a card or maybe they'll have a, a sample vial they can um, give me so I can actually do a, a true um, test on them because of course getting the deep first without having the original isn't really going to help me out too much but it was a really good labor day sale so it just made sense to buy it anyhow we'll get over there to the fragrances and talk about the stuff for the week and how we're going to proceed with this mess um yeah ma'am have you found a toy do i walk with it do i just sit no. what 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 do i just sit there with it you do. I'm just gonna sit there with it, ponder, think about life, go into deep thoughts. Let's go find your sister. Let's go find Dolly. Let's go find Dolly. Yeah, let's go. There could be fine, picky Dolly. We found picky Dolly. eat your treat ball. Dolly's been very picky with her breakfast so I've gone to starting to have her eat out of her treat ball and even that she's like I'll make it fall all over the floor and not eat it <laughs> so you'll have to clean it up mom because you're my child and that's what you do but god forbid you want to eat it out of that bowl mm -mm, mm -mm, we don't do that no we don't we don't do that we don't make things easy. Check <laughs> now. I'm out of here. Bye. Oh, but look who's who, who's here for something. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Somebody's all about something. Really. Really. Pickles. I see you. You want to make give it all the bamboo? Oh, mom, shame them. I'll turn off the camera. Okay, so we had a relatively successful week, except for I didn't get a chance to wear Cafe Tuberosa before it warmed up to Hades here in Oregon. So I'm going to leave that out for this next week because I definitely want to wear it now that it will be um, cooling back down into the 70s. I wore holiday probably like three days this week, so... Uh, made a dent into her uh, vanilla vibes as well. I only wore yum one day and one day 
um, with Lost Cherry as well. So it was relatively successful. Going to put holiday away for a few months because I don't think we have a holiday to celebrate until, well, I mean, Halloween, but I'm bringing out pumpkin spice latte up there for, um, for that occasion, which is the, um, emerald rain, which is totally just nutmeg, cinnamon, all that pumpkin spicy goodness. So that will come out at, um, Halloween for sure. So putting her away, putting everything else away, except for leaving that one out for the week and we'll find something else to put in the tray. You may have noticed there, and I completely just glazed over it while I was organizing. Um, I kind of rearranged some stuff here and this tray back here, I've had this for a while in my closet and just didn't know what to do with it. It's really a makeup tray and I, I'm just, you know, not using as much makeup. So I don't really need like something to hold a bunch of lipsticks and all sorts of things in it. So in my opinion, I thought I would use it to put all of my smaller bottles of fragrance in and just kind of keep them in a more condensed place. I mean, I had them like all up here. Let me walk over. Like I had them lined up around here and just kind of spread out and just all over the place um, up in this area and just kind of wanted to make some more room. Um, and then I'm going to need more room because I think I'm going to add to the LV collection. So I needed some more room there. Just wanted to give myself some options. So yeah, I just thought it would be good to kind of move things around here. Huh, babies? The girls just came in from outside. Um, and then, yeah, so thought that would be an interesting way to keep the smaller little trinket kind of bottles organized and, and allow me to, you know, make some changes around here. Okay, so this is this week's tray. We're staying with Cafe Tuberosa from Atea Cologne. Uh, I'm bringing out Wonder Woman because I need my superpowers this week. And some one favorite Woods Agency salts um, and one that I don't wear very often, but I want to give it a good whirl this week, lime, basil, and mandarin. And that um, was actually because uh, Marianne, one of my... Uh, one, one of the viewers that I talk to often in, a, in our uh, little chats down below there, I um, was going back and forth about some fragrances and that kind of prompted me into thinking about what to wear um, around this time of year. And I think this is a more um, clean, crisp, but also a little leaning towards this time of year, just a more rich citrus. So I want to give that a good whirl. Um, Vanilla Sky, because I love my vanillas. But this brand has, I think, a Capri. Capri something is... Oh, I'm completely going to forget it. I'll put it on the screen. There is a Capri um, citrus that um, would be good for you, Marianne, I believe. Um, a clean brand there. And then, of course, my favorite brands are Atelier Cologne, and they're no longer here. However, you can still locate these two on other websites. So like Amazon happens to have this one for some odd reason. I saw Nordstrom Rack had this one at one time. So if you Google these two, you'll probably come up with them. This is grapefruit. This is, you know, pure orange, very lovely um, citrus scents um, year round. I mean, I, I, I would wear them year round. I love them to death, but um, I think they, since you like grapefruit um, from Joe Malone, I think those are right up your alley. And then that made me think about Nest, which also has an orange scent, and I believe a grapefruit scent as well. They're at Sephora. I don't have their fragrances other than this vanilla one, but I've I've smelled the candles and I've smelled um, quite a few of their like soaps and things at Nordstrom Rack, and I know it's it's quality stuff. It's just something I haven't got in my collection, but you might want to look into to them. So they are quite um, a good brand. So. This, again, is the tray of the week. Um, I think it's a pretty good, eclectic, transitional tray. And like I said, I need all my superpowers there. So, you know, Wonder Woman, 
will give me some power this week. Okay, so as we mentioned, this is going back for the week, but we need something that can weather the storm this week and not cause too much. Why did I get drawn to this immediately? Choco Hollow. Um, yeah, that was speaking to me. It's brown. Is that where I want to go? Or do I want to go black? Black Hollow Wish. I mean, I probably should moderate. I probably shouldn't go right into my dark, dark depths of my soul. Chocolate, chocolate sounds like a plan. I think I'm gonna do it. It's it's fall, it's going into fall. I think we're going there. Yeah, okay. Choco Hollow. This is a really chunky, glittery, glittery thing. So we'll go there. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't look any sadder. I'm so sorry. It does. I have some inserts coming for it. it. It's this is entirely my fault. It has nothing to do with the bag. The bag is gorgeous. The bag is scrumptious and beautiful, and I loved carrying her this week. It was a fabulous, fabulous bag to wear. Um, it's just hysterical, and it needs so much life support. <laughs> to, but it, when you carry, I mean, it, it, it right back to life. It's just when it sits down. So it just needs a little bit of help. <laughs> A little bit of help in there. But, you know, we had a great week. Um, went out shopping a couple times, you know, Costco the like, and did just fine. So very excited. So I'm going to unpack, um, get her stuff back up so that she is in protected care. And I will dig out the bag that will be the bag of next week. Okay. This is the chosen one. And... I bought her in March and I haven't carried her once, but it's going to happen. It is going to happen. This is the Florentine Satchel. I am very excited to carry her because, like I said, I bought her, put her away because it wasn't the time or place, in my opinion. This is a fall bag. Granted, it's not fall for like three weeks, but whatever. I'm just saying. It's just... It's just this time of year. So I am wanting to do this. It is uh, Satchel September, I believe is the hashtag. So um, that is the plan. I'm not even sure I'll need the cross. I mean, I want to use the crossbody because this is a this is a meaty bag. But um, I don't know if I'm going to carry it with the crossbody. So we're going to see. Um, this came, I don't want to put that in there, with its paperwork still intact, which is lovely. i um, just going to shove that right in there. It's got a zip pocket, a slip pocket on that side, and I mean, it's really hard to look in there. Two rather large slip pockets, more desiccant. Um, yeah, so a kind of constrictive closure. And some folks don't like that, but I find it actually quite pretty. Um, it is an older bag, so the hardware had a little bit of damage to it, but I don't care. I'm, I'm a happy little camper. And I think the thing that makes me the most excited is the tassels aren't too messed up yet. It was kept in rather decent contention. I just think that the person who bought it just never carried it. So... It's just kind of there. And, you know, I have a lot of green bags now. I went from, like, having no green bags to having five now. That's insane. So, yeah, we're going to load her up with the stuff. And then I'll check back in here when I'm done. Okay, so I've loaded her up. I'm on my iPhone, so I can't show you how that fits in there, but are, there are a couple places to put the phone. Um, both of these pockets are more than sufficient on this side to utilize. There's also that long pocket right here that could be utilized. There's no outside pockets, and that's fine. Um, yeah, I think 
we are good to go. I am really excited to carry the Florentine. I think I should have been in a better job stuffing her because she's a little bit misshapen, having been up there in storage for a good six months or so. So that's the only downfall. But no, I think this is going to be a good, a good bag of the week. Okay, folks. So we've got the nails completed. We've got the Chaco Choco Hollow is what we ended up going with, which I think is quite nice. Um, not quite black, but still dark and kind of moody, but that bright shimmery gold in there. I think it's just the right end of summer. Everything's, you know, crispy. <laughs> it's crispy out there right now. Um, my yard is completely um, burnt to a crisp right now. All of, of the plants, everything. But... Now, maybe I'll insert a picture. I've already put out the hay bales and um, I have this little scarecrow looking man that says like pumpkin spice season or something like that. Um, I'll, like, so I'll insert a picture of it. So I've already got that um, ready to go. I also put out like actual pumpkins, but I haven't gone and bought them yet. I don't put fake ones out, but I, I have to go purchase some. But it's too hot. If I bought them right now, they'd rot before, um, you know, even time before we carve them. So anyhow, um, so it's just started slightly at this point I've, I've decorated a little bit can't wait it's great oh before i put out this for my for my office so i mean i'm i'm like there i'm here for it it's it's time we are we are going to fall so anyhow that was this week i hope you all have a great next week um i mean we'll see We'll see what the week brings us. I hope that you all get to enjoy whatever the week brings and stay safe, healthy, and let me know what you're up to down below. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.